Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Thomas Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Shout out to my guy, Showtime SP, to nobody that knows body. Man, you know, and it's crazy that you said that, you know, there's nobody that knows bodies, you know what I'm saying? And I, myself, take pride mm. in knowing mm. bodies. But you know what I've also specialized in as what? well? What? You know what I've specialized in? I've specialized in brooms. Oh my goodness. I've specialized in whisk brooms, the regular whisker brooms, you can do the plastic, you can do the steel brooms. You know they got steel, steel wool brooms? Oh, no. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why I thought about that. You know what I'm saying? I just figured it. I didn't, I didn't want to sweep that under the rug. You know what I'm saying? Oh. So many jobs that I have done in my life, but a chimney sweep I have never been in. You know what I'm saying? I just had to get the dust off the table. I'm not saying that the ball didn't go in the net, but <laughs> the net is not connected with going to championships. I'm just, I, I just wanted to speak in code real quick. You know, I was thinking to hey, myself, yo, should I hey, get, yo, cause I was wondering hey, if, yo. if we got the iced out L's, right? We get the iced out L's, we would be fired, you know what I'm saying? But if you get the broom, the broom, the broom. I'm sorry, I'll be man, back. I'm, I'm, I'm be getting back. I'm jumping the gun. I'm gonna be the back, gun. I will you be back. back. Next year. <laughs> hey man, we got swept. You know what I'm saying? Woo! Brooklyn Nets by the Boston Celtics. Hey, for mm. real, for real, before we even get started, man, that's a really good team, man. Hey man, I, they they gonna be hard to beat, dog. That motherfucker right there gonna be. Boston Celtics gonna be really hard to beat, man. They play defense. They coached well. Uh, they get back on defense. They they stop you from doing the things that you want to do. But I will say this: even though Kevin Durant had, and Kyrie Irving both had uncast characteristic series, mm -hmm. uh, I did like Kevin Durant in Game Four. You know what I'm saying? Like he showed up. He was aggressive. He made shots. He had 30 something points. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He fought till the till the end. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But um, you know they they'll probably there's some changes got to be made. Steve Nash. To me, I don't like Steve Nash as a coach, though. I just don't like. I don't think Steve Nash is a good fucking coach. Like he's just he just stands there like this while they're getting blown away. And I'm like, bro, when you gonna fucking make an adjustment? And then you trying to incorporate Bum Simmons into that offense? He don't even run no plays. It's literally just pass the ball to somebody and they shoot that shit contested. It's crazy. We got swept though. Long story short, we got swept. Let's not forget, you know, if we were on time, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If we, because you know, I, I wasn't going to lay it on. But let me tell you something. They won't let me not lay it on. So I must say, you know, I remember when the season started, you was like, you know, KD is healthy. He's going to be playing all the games, and that's mm -hmm. going to be crazy. You know, Kyrie is going to be playing all the games, and now the COVID thing, all right, so boom, we're going to skip past that. Now all of a sudden, there's a big trade going on, a big trade deadline. We appreciate y'all taking that dead weight off our hands. We really do appreciate you taking it. The only thing that I feel bad about that trade is that Seth Curry is giving, it, giving his all. For a team that does not want to help him out. I'm just saying. And Ben Simmons, since we talking about Bum Simmons, Ben Simmons did more in a first round playoff than he has done for the Nets. I just want to throw that out there. <laughs> this nigga's done nothing. You know what I mean? No. You He's do. literally going on like FMLA. Like, hey, man. This nigga just shows up, gets dressed, and leaves, man. man and it's crazy. Like, shiny man. suit, man. <laughs> and, and, and you know what I'm saying? And you got the Knicks fans, they talking, it's back and forth. It's a civil war in New York. Yeah. Speaking of yes. civil wars, you mm -hmm. like how I got off of that. Right? I like that. I had to get off of that. I gotta get out of this. Screw, I had to get off of that real quick. It's a civil war on any given Sunday. Yes, man. sir. And uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. the card drops. Uh, I'll read out the names to you, you know mm. what I'm saying? Uh, Swamp versus Dot, Drugs versus Franchise, Sharon versus None None, Lou Castro versus Jerry West, DNA and Official versus Jack Boy Maine and First Lady Flames, who will be battling each other the week prior mm -hmm. on Kings versus Queens, 
and none other than Sue Surf versus Cortez. Okay. What do you want to talk about first? What sh what shocks you? Like, let's do that. What shocks you? What, what shocks stands, me? Yeah. What stands out? What what, what we got to get straight to? I'm a, I'm 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 gonna say this. All right, because I, I saw you put out a tweet, and and when I saw it, I immediately agreed with it, because I you know I don't go with the hate, mm -hmm. of, you know, if, you know, at first, you right. know what I'm saying, but. Um, I, I don't want to disrespect my brother at all. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I'm not trying to disrespect my family. We could be cousins somewhere down the line. Mm -hmm. Dot coming back on URL is excellent. We mm -hmm. love it. That's Mr. Performance. Mm -hmm. That's the, you know, everything that Dot do, he do. But to me, I feel as though the way that Swamp has been moving, mm -hmm. he's been getting the right type of plates. Maybe some, some, some battles are good. Most of his battles are good showings. Mm -hmm. Some of his battles ain't the best, but at the same time, he does have a great show. I like to say that Swamp's track record is a lot better than Dot's track record. Okay. But needless to say, this battle is the most peculiar. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, this is out of the box. Now, can this battle be battle of the night? Because it's we don't know what neither one of them is going to do? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, but if I got to keep it funky, if I'm gonna keep it all the way a hundred, is this gonna be on somewhat of a big stage? I don't know if this is gonna be a huge stage. But I mean, you know the North Carolina stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so it's gonna be a good enough stage. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like, by the fall, I'm gonna recap this and say that Swamp caught a 30 on the dot, bro. Mm. But you know, I'm just saying, I, I'm not saying Swamp 3-0, but that gonna have to be somewhat spectacular to be a Swamp. Let so. Me see. I put this tweet out yesterday, right? Mm -hmm. And you know, and it was just me putting out a tweet about the battle. Mm -hmm. I said Swamp vs. Dot while entertaining, Swamp should be battling tougher competition at this point. You know what I'm saying? I just put it out to as a, to see what the what the what the temperature was, and it had over 200 likes and a lot of retweets and a lot of re and I was like, wow. When they, when a tweet does that, it means a lot of people are agreeing with right. what you're saying for whatever reason. Right. So, um, it says. I'm just read some of the replies. Mm -hmm. It says, waste of time, tickets 125, but the card lame, he fell off. No disrespect, if Swamp can't beat Dot, then he needs to stay in his realm. He dropped the ball on a high level a little bit. Mm -hmm. He's saying, another dude said, you saying Swamp should be battling tougher competition, but this is battle rap, and he's a battle rapper. You face anyone at any time. He said, it's not about the name, Vada, it's about letting the opponent big or small known as far as your pen. Mm -hmm. He said, why are they holding Swamp back? They said, uh, another person said, uh, what has he done? Uh, whole time I'm reading Dot, I'm thinking B Dot. He says, URL needs to quit fumbling the bag. It says, facts. It says, last three battles have been losses. Does Battle Rap hate Swamp? It says, uh, I doubt you watch Double Impact. He said, Dot is tough competition. People started saying, laugh my ass off. Mm -hmm. He said, niggas are sleeping. Dot might clip that boy. Swamp has been on a decline for a minute now. Call me crazy, but I got Dot winning. And more and more and more and more comments. Uh, it's, it's mixed. And Dot even mixed. hit me up by himself. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and he basically, no, you know, he basically, uh, what is that? Okay. He said, uh, you know, he basically said, I don't respect it, but watch this. And I said, that's the energy that I want to see. I'm from the Bronx, too. I want to see you win. But here's the deal. I, Swamp had retweeted that tweet and said, SMH. You got to update your resume. Mm -hmm. That's the issue that they're having, right? When the Battle vs. T-Top, it didn't turn out as good as it was supposed to be. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Sirius Jones didn't turn out as good as it was supposed to be. You know, uh, and his other battles, him and KCJ, he got bodied by KCJ. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And unfortunately, the two-on-twos, they really don't put a lot of stock in him. Right. I like Swamp. I like what he does. But to be quite honest, the Jersey Twerk performance and the Urana performance, he hasn't surpassed those. You right. Know what I'm like right. you gotta pass. You gotta. That's why I said update your resume. You gotta update his resume, regardless of who it's against. If you battle against Dot and you thirty him and destroy him, we'll remember the body more than remember the opponent. So that's why when I say tougher competition, I'm talking about you know there's people that I feel like he should battle, but I mean that's not my choice and not my call. I don't know right. the reason why these battles aren't happening, mm -hmm. but he has to update his resume. You know, you got a legend in Sirius Jones, and a lot of people get that battle of Sirius. You know what I'm saying? Like, just being honest with you. And, you know, he's got a, 
I feel like this is a prime opportunity against somebody like Dot. Who, and the reason why I say tougher competition, listen, I got nothing against Dot, mm. but let's be honest with you. If you got to pick your own battle on URL, for you, you would pick, if you're, if you're cherry picking and want to battle somebody that you feel like it's easier competition, mm. you're going to pick Dot. Yeah. Period. He's entertaining. But I'm never going to be like, yo, I need to hear some crazy punches and cut his battle on, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or I, I want to fight. Like, I, if he yeah. wins, I, I'm jacking that. I rock yeah. with him. But at the same time, I'm not going to say, like, he's the toughest name on the fucking menu, you know Correct. what I'm saying? That's right. all that was about. That's, that's it ain't fair. hating on Dot. It's, it's not. just the fact that that's not niggas don't look at that as tough wreck. At, at some point, y'all gotta realize that we've been around this block a few times, mm -hmm. so we seize competition and we see how things go on the trajectory scale. This is not a up trajectory for. Here's the thing. If Dot smokes Swamp, mm -hmm. do you think Dot will get the love and the praise? Or do you think that Swamp will get a lot more disrespect? And a lot more, or or, or I should say, Swamp would get more yeah, get hate more. Whatever you, you want to call it, you're going to get more. You get what I'm saying? Like, nobody's going to be like, yo, Dot's now the hottest thing ever. No, it's more like, damn, Swamp can't even be the Dot. That's how they're going to say yeah, it. That's exactly what's going to happen. But with all that being said, who you got? Uh, In this one... I got Swamp, but I got him more so 2-1, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, I got him 2-1 I got him, I got him uh, because I feel like Dot does have moments where he he can he can be surprising and he can take some of the, you know, energy that people have towards him and he can flip it back on him. But I'm not going to say Swamp hasn't won battles, you know what I'm saying? Like, Swamp beat New Jersey Twerk, he yeah. beat Bad News, he beat Ace Amin. Uh, the, the, the Serious Jones, you can call it what you want. The T-Top, you can call it what you want. He beat Don Marino on Survivor Series. Uh, he had uh, Swave Seva. Floor creep. That's the floor yeah, the floor creep. creep. That was very nice. That was very nice. Uh, <laughs> he had Geechee Gotti on Ultimate Madness. That was a big look for him. He didn't clear Geechee and he didn't clear uh, Casey J either right. on Kings vs. Queens. So, so, you know, he doesn't. The reason why I'm saying this, and I rock with Swamp, mm -hmm. and I hope he watches this, mm -hmm. he does not have the leverage that other MCs have if they don't perform at a high level. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like if you have a big name artist who's done a lot, been on Summer Madness and Gnomes and all that shit, they have a bad performance, they'll be like, all right, cool, you know, he ain't really want to battle anyway. They'll find an excuse. Right. But when you're in his position and you haven't done those things, if you have a battle that's not the greatest or you're not you're not killing or you're not even elevated from the last performance, people gonna hold that against you. But I do have him winning uh two one in that joint. But uh okay. let's 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 keep this thing I'm starting to see a pattern here too, but go ahead. It's rolling. Um go ahead, keep going. Drugs vs. Franchise. You know, Drugs is mm -hmm. on the rise, he's doing his thing. He been winning battles. He beat Luke Castro in his last joint. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen Franchise in a month full of Sundays. I can't even remember the last time I saw a Franchise. It was a long time ago because of the whole pandemic coming into America. COVID. Shit. Yeah. The, 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 like it was like the very beginning of it where it was like right, him in like two good. years. Who, <laughs> who you, who you, who, uh, you feel Was it like Tink the Demon? It might have been. Yeah, I think it was. I know you had Av at one time. Yeah, it was around. Get, it was around that. He didn't time. get rock right. He got Av. He got Av. He got yeah, Av. Yeah, yeah, it was around that time. Like franchise ain't been here in a minute. Yeah. Um. Didn't he battle Danny McClure too? Yeah, they did it on, on like the um on like the fucking um, little like tournament shit. Yep. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So there was a tournament. So yeah, franchise was in the tournament. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now that we now that we got our memories refreshed on who franchise is, um, I think I got drugs in this one too. One. Mm. Right now, drugs is drugs is being counted out. Mm -hmm. I mean, granted, his last few battles, not the last few, but not the last two, three, four battles that he's had, but the battles before that, he was counted out. I mean, the Rum Nitty battles, mm -hmm. and 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 uh, I believe it was a uh, uh, Danny, Danny Mai. Danny Mai uh, like just, you know, he had where drugs was getting high level competition, and he wasn't yeah. winning, but they were top tier elite competition. Mm -hmm. For that, that is just to say that a fighter that, uh, if, if you spar with Mike Tyson, does that mean that the sparrer does not want, uh, uh, that you can't, uh, you can easily smoke the sparrer? Mm -hmm. No, sir. I've been boxing with Mike Tyson. You might want to watch out for this left. That's all I'm saying. For drugs to still be as, 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 uh, uh he's in it. He just had the, the one, uh, he just had the one off with, uh, Luke uh with Luke Castro and beat him. Yeah, you know I'm saying like. Right now, I can't. I I don't see drugs losing this battle. I think drugs needs this more. But there's one thing that franchise has over drugs, mm. and that is the animation, the over, you know, the 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 over of the bars. 
and it just sounds it sounds more natural whereas drugs he sounds like a goonie like like it, it's a goonie style we'll, mm -hmm. we'll just call it that mm -hmm. with that being said i still got drugs in this one two one but yeah and um franchise can get franchise has battled Goonies before, you know, yeah. he battled Jack Boy Maine. Mm -hmm. That was one of probably his best performance ever on a big stage. You know, yeah. what I'm saying? he battled him. Yes, he, did. he battled Blue Easy on the quarantine joint. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So he's he's used to these type of battles, mm -hmm. and I think that he's gonna do pretty well. Uh, he might even surprise. I mean, only reason why I could lean towards franchising this is my nigga. I ain't seen you in two exactly. years. Exactly. There ain't no way. Yep. You should Element be done with all three rounds by now. Right. Bro, like, what? Like, come on. He's got to have Your a throw lot. Away should be, throwaways should be fine. throwaways should be throwaway. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, he should be um, capable, highly capable. But yeah. Drugs has been performing at a high level. He's been doing his thing, too. So, I mean, it is what it is. Um, next, the battle that came out of nowhere. I did not see this battle coming at all. Mm -hmm. None None versus Sharon. Now, Sharon has an inept ability to be able to break down opponents. He can freestyle. He doesn't lose a lot of battles. Uh, he battled on URL a couple times. He's got some pretty good battles, you know what I'm saying? Like, even if you feel like the other person got him or he got him, you know, he definitely shows up. I don't know what his record on the app is right now, but you know I can pull it up. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't like, have many battles on the app. But he definitely has. He has wins. battles. So he has wins. wins. Definitely got some wins. He's uh, uh, two and one on the app. Okay. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, he battled Danny on the show. He battled Danny on the one round joint. Mm -hmm. um, you know they got the, the, I'm looking at the app stats. Uh, okay. It was a one rounder though. Yeah. So uh, they got Sharon winning on that. And uh, damn, he just battled uh, with T Top. Yeah, he battled T-Top. That was T-Top, that was the one, that was the mm -hmm. one rounder. Um, damn. He battled JC too. Yes, URL. that's what it was, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, well, they, got him winning, they got him winning versus T-Top on the votes mm -hmm. by five votes. And I think they uh, got him losing to JC. I, I had him losing to JC too, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah so I, we we're straight now. We straight, we straight, we straight. So yeah, oh yeah, JC Black. JC Black. JC Black. Black. Yeah. yeah like, so we good, we good, we good. With all of that being said, that battle, uh, they decided to go white on white crime, which is fine. And it's all right with me. I like to see it. This is the. <laughs> this is the. Mm -hmm. This is the changing of the battery. This is the battle that's. One of them ones, uh -huh. but it's not one of them ones. Mm. It could be one of them ones, but I don't think it's gonna be one of them ones because it's mm. it's it's weird. It's weird. No, none's more hood. Mm. And and URL the hood style kind of it it kind of supersedes the lyrical miracle, if you will, right? Thanks. But Sharon ain't the type of person to just lose like like when I say Sharon ain't the type of person to just lose he beats high level competition right and makes it like it and it's not it's not even close when it comes to battling Sharon like you mm -hmm. don't know what you're gonna get from Sharon and it's the fact that he's so unorthodox he can dip in any different bag he can freestyle He's literally that style of rapper. This is what he does for a living. The reason why I have Sharon winning this battle mm -hmm. is because I honestly don't think that Nun Nun kind I don't think Nun Nun's great at specifically angling and staying on that point and then jumping out of it. You get what I'm saying? It's either he gonna give you a whole bunch of that in a round or he gonna do it consistently all three rounds. With Sharon, you can't do that. You have to dig in different bags. For Sharon, right? I just don't feel like none. I, I'm not saying none. None is one sided, but I'm sorry. Uh, or or, or uh, yeah, he's not. He's not as well rounded enough as Sharon. Mm -hmm. So for this, I got Sharon winning this battle pretty clear. But yeah, the hunger, yeah, yeah. Cause the cause Sharon got that flow where he's like, you know, uh, 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 we like the spare moving three types of fear. Mm -hmm. URL would have never booked you. If I didn't battle less than three times a year, type shit, you know what I'm saying? Like when he starts doing that, yes, yes. like he really can break you down and use different complex styles to break an opponent down while talking about everything from whether it's bars, career, mm -hmm. status, you know what I'm saying? Because he got money, he deals with business, he's on TV every day, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So they literally got Sharon is smart because he's seen or sees the money train mm -hmm. that's coming in with uh, URL, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And it's like, well, I like to battle. I'm I, I'm on wildin' now. Yeah. God, uh, fucking, I see Charlie Clips battling every couple months. Conceited ain't battling. Hitman may battle a couple times a year. 
my I know I could, you know what I'm saying? I could do this too. And it's a competition thing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And once I, and what I will say is, is that Sharona's got exponentially better, you know what I'm saying, while battling against the top names. Because a couple years ago, back to like when he had the shine battle and all of that, I would have never thought he could come on URL and actually win battles at a high level, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, he was. He won, but he wasn't battling enough, you know right. what I'm saying? Like, I'm he with wasn't, you. You're not, you can't win on URL. His, he was battling on URL once every four or five he battled, years. He, brought, he battled head ice. About shotgun shoes. Shotgun shoes. Yeah, shoot. and I ain't never seen him like since then. That was like almost seven, eight years ago. You see what I'm saying? So for him to come back every couple months, mm. he's either you know found a pocket, a new groove of flows that he can jump into. Mm. Uh, I got, damn, I got Sharon winning two one, and the reason why is because, and it's it, when I look at things, I look at things from the highest perspective. When you see somebody at their highest level. Mm. The Sharon that I've seen at his highest level and the none none that I've seen at his highest level, Sharon is still higher. Yeah, it's not, yeah like, it doesn't compare. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't compare. compare. So uh, I have it being a good battle. I have none none putting up a fight, punching like a motherfucker. Oh, the hunger is there. He ain't about to yeah, go none none down, about to, like down to nobody. Nah. But I do have Sharon winning. Um, next, Luke Castro versus Jerry West. Uh, you want me to start? Go ahead. All right, so check this out. Um, mm -hmm. Jerry West. Obviously, we ain't seen Jerry West on URL in a while. That's you know the, what I'm like, that's another thing. I was about to point that out because that's the pattern. I don't we think I've seen, seen Jerry West. We haven't seen a lot of these guys. I think the last time I saw Jerry West on URL, and I want to look it up. I got the app right here. Was versus Loso, and that was a year ago. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. I think he might have last been seen. Was that Super or Fight? Or was it the chess joint? I think it was the Super Fight. I know the last time I seen Jerry West was on Super Fight. Oh, okay. It was on a super it was fight. A, but I haven't was seen it him in a while. the first super fight? I haven't seen Jerry West in a while. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if he fell out with somebody. I don't know what the hell is going right, on. Right, right, right. But uh, what I was going to say, okay, so he was on Born Legacy 7 versus Chess. He was on the Volume versus Arsenal. Arsenal spanked him. Mm -hmm. uh, and he was on Gnome 11 the day after joint. You know what I'm saying? Like the day, a little day after. Yep. And I, that was the last one. I think that was the last one. Jerry that, West uh, ain't been seen in a whole year. Um, He... Uh, didn't he have Danny? He had Danny Myers on the anniversary event. Mm -hmm. Danny cooked him. Yep. Uh, well, he cooked Danny. My bad. He cooked Danny. Yeah. Danny was stumbling. He beat Danny. He beat Danny. Yes. He, he, he cleared Bro, Danny. Arsenal beat Jerry. Jerry. And yes. I ain't seen him since. That was Smack yeah. Volume 6. Yep. I ain't seen him since yep. then. Volume. Uh, volume. 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 Not, not um, I don't think it's a fight with your volume. So let's just do this, right? Go ahead. So Jerry West was supposed to be that guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, he came in around the same time as Avin, Mike P, and all of them. He didn't really get the looks that he probably wanted to really take off, take off. Mm -hmm. uh, he had a lot of, you know, Punches. He had a good flow. The, the, the ain't no sugar in this shit. Big moments and things like that. He got himself up to URL. Uh, he felt like he wasn't getting the battles that he wanted. He was battling Louise. He called out Smack. Mm. Smack sent him on a run. Gave him John John Rum Nitty. Uh, you know what I'm saying? JC. And JC. Just to see. Okay, you want to call me out? You want you want you want to call me out in front of this big, in front of this big big crowd, big room? Okay, well you gonna battle Danny. You gonna battle John John. You gonna battle all these people? Rum Nitty. Rum Nitty. <laughs> the thing is, right? Uh, you they know, he got chess, man. he got uh, mad niggas, you know what I'm saying? And the thing is, they sent he killers. didn't, they sent when they killers. sent him that first wave of killers, he didn't die. He didn't die. You know, he might not have won a lot of those battles, because his, his record on the app is 6 and 8, which is respectable. But, uh, you know, he was battling some really, really, really tough competition at yeah. the time. So, um, he takes a break. They're still on a slot available where they're looking for somebody who's charismatic, entertaining, mm -hmm. Maybe you could punch a little bit. I see where you're going. Get a little, you, you, I see where you're going. You, you, keep, you, keep going, but I see where you're okay, going. Okay, see, okay. Go ahead. Marketable. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, carries himself well, is able to, to get. They basically found his replacement. You know what I'm saying? I was thinking about that. I was using deductive reasoning earlier. I was like, yo, Jerry West's mm -hmm. replacement was Lou Castro. Yep. Lou Castro started getting them summer madness looks, battling Arsenal on stage. Yeah, 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 nigga, look at this, look at this. Like, he was getting all of them looks. Why? Because so, Jerry West, whatever, for whatever reason, they just felt like, I don't know, since I don't know a reason, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a guest one, they didn't feel like they could market him. After all, they just didn't feel like they, they didn't have, they came to a roadblock. It was like writer's block. They didn't have a way to market him. Stage presence. Mm. Mm hmm. Just okay. pure stage presence. Lou Castro. The, I mean, if, if we're going by actual, I, I, 
I really, you know what? You know, I really want to see this battle. You know what? Okay, I, I'm convinced because now, usually when you see it on card, you be like, all right. Oh yeah, skip uh, Jerry West had battled uh, X Factor. We bought him too. Come on, man. Okay, come on. Listen, listen. I, I'm. T- we talking about antics, right? Mm-hmm. Like Jerry West has had sound systems. He's had uh, mic mess ups. He's had people jump in. I mean, let's not forget the. The 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 uh the remember he had the three of them. Mm-hmm. He, I didn't like that. I I, I did, but you, you you gotta understand. Not to mention one of them was drugs. That's his man's. Mm-hmm. And it, I'm just I'm I'm throwing this out there because there are things that Jerry West did that was like it's a hit or a miss, mm-hmm. and that's the same thing with Luke Castro. It's either gonna hit or it's gonna miss. His last battle was versus Charlie Clips. Luke Cash Now, Charlie beat him, right? But let's just say Luke kept getting back up. It wasn't like Charlie was knocking him down. He's falling back. He was like, nope, I'm gonna keep getting back he up. Him, he him. But it, 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 still, it was the stage presence. Mm-hmm. Like he, he said, Charlie, you gonna share this stage with me? You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I feel like this battle is going to be. One of the best performances of the night. It's probably gonna be performance mm. of the night. It, it it has no choice but to be performance of the night. You right. know what I'm saying? Because I I just and I haven't seen Jerry West in a while. Mm. But I gotta go with the consistency. Gotta go with the consistency. What have you done for me lately? And that's what battle rap all it is is. What have you done for me lately? Mm. Mm-hmm. Lou Castro. I'm going to push on this one. This is a battle that I want to see. Mm-hmm. I, I got a 2-1 either way. I, I, my I, head is I'm conflicted. I'm going to push this I'm one. I'm saying, but I can. Uh, let's, let's see what happens. But uh, another battle that's going to be very exciting is mm-hmm. DNA and Official versus Jack Boy Main and First Lady Flames. So Jack Boy Main and First Lady Flames, they've been rocking, you know what I'm saying, cool with each other, you know, came up together. Uh, they always was running around through the small circuits together. And now, you know, Jack Boy Main is, he, he, sh- he showed up. He got destroyed and he's rebuilt his career now. You know what I'm right. saying? Like he's getting booked consistently. He's doing good. He had the battle versus Chess. He went crazy. Oh, keep him stable. Mm-hmm. You know, he's recovered. He wants that shine battle. He was calling out shine. And now he's battling he's battling First Lady Flames this week. Mm-hmm. And then after that, they're teaming up in a two on two. So they basically just together, putting together all this material, right? So But ain't DNA and official doing the same thing? They're battling on the car together. Yeah, they're battling each other. They're battling each cra- other. Yo, wow. So they're battling each other. Then turning around and doing a two-on-two the next week. Like, that's crazy, dog. Like, you literally have to write for somebody that you sit next to. Oh. So when you're coming up with the super haymakers, you're like, damn, should I use this in the two-on-two? Well, yeah, like, why not, just, you know what like, why not just have crazy. DNA and Jack Boy versus Jeez. Official and First Lady Flames? Uh, anyway, but go ahead. I, but, I, I, but, but I just thought about that. That's super crazy. Um, both are very talented. Yes. It's going to be an action, exciting battle. Hopefully there's crowd there, you know what I'm saying, get some reaction. Jack Boy Main. This is a really, really... In two-on-twos, you always look for that one person who's going to shine through mm. and really get uh, that elevation in it, like with the newer people. Not mm. with, like, you know, John John and fucking Hitman teaming up. They're already stars. Mm. But when you got somebody like a Chess and a Tay Rock teaming up, you're looking like, is Tay Rock going to come of age in this battle? Uh, you know, mm. is Jack Boy Main going to take the, the the lead? You know what I'm saying? When, when Loaded Hollows battled Rock and Chess, Chess is like, jumped to the front, forefront, like, nah, we're not losing. Nah, 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 nah. It was a great battle. So yeah. now you have an opportunity for Jack Boy Main to, like, really lead a charge and I can't wait to see the different patterns of flows and things like that First Lady and Jack use because I've never seen them together before. Yeah. Um, we obviously, I haven't seen, I don't think I've seen DNA and Official on 2 on 2 before. No. But, um, you know, who you got, man? It's on you. This battle's weird for me, too. Um, I, I, I would say that I'm going to give Jack Boy Main and First Lady Flames the edge because they have more chemistry. Mm-hmm. I mean, that would make sense. Um, DNA official was in WX together, so like, but I've never seen them two. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've never seen the chemistry between them two more than I've seen. But then again, I don't really see a chemistry between Jack Boy and like, you really don't. I don't see them two 
either two together like that to be like, oh, all right, they would be the perfect team. Yeah. Like, what would make sense? Jazz and Surf. So if I was, if it was Jazz and Surf, you know what I'm saying? Oh, all right, because you see them together a lot. Like, you get what I'm saying? So I want y'all to have that type of mindset of how I'm thinking. Right. If I have to pick a winner in this battle because it's a two on two, I'm gonna say that DNA and Official are going to lyrically be better. Mm. But the intimidation factor would be Jack Boy and First Lady Flames. I'm I'm I'm, I'm uh, conflicted. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to pull a two one either way on this one. It, it's, okay, it's, I, it's I can see, and I can't. I'm not gonna run it back twice. I'm gonna call it how, how I see it. I yeah, think. yeah. Um, I think DNA and official because DNA is more experienced with two on twos. Mm -hmm. Um, he's one of the greatest two on two partners ever. Uh, he's able to freestyle at a high level. Uh, he's able to rebuttal. He's able to. He's got a crazy cadence, and he's mm -hmm. able to get crowds involved and. In, uh, you know, I think that uh, on the contrary, though, Jack Boy kind of got the same, same thing. He, yeah, but him and, it's, it's him and Rada. It's uh, uh, I'm about to say it was him and Rada. Him and Twerk. And him and Twerk. Yeah. Like they, they can like then not to mention First Lady Flames already got a two on two under her belt. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, him and her done it one too. Yeah, what I'm saying, like He's so, so too. yeah, so what I'm saying. So it's like so no, 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 no. First Lady Flames and Coffee. No, and First Lady Flames and, and Jack Boy have battled together before. They so battled, I think it was Fetty and they, Shuni. They've yeah. already had, they got you know what I'm saying? They've already had that. So no. you kind of, like I said, like like for for what we think, of, like on a higher level, on a URL only level, like only stuff that counts, yes, DNA and Official would have the bigger name mm -hmm. and they would get the, the fairer vote. But I don't know. I don't know. This is too uneasy way for me. I, 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 yep, that's what I'm doing. Wow, there it is. Last but not least, finally, mm -hmm. Sue Surf versus Cortez is going down mm -hmm. after much debate, much chagrin, mm -hmm. pushbacks, mm -hmm. midnight madness, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? A bunch of battles happening in between, another mm -hmm. event happening. Uh, now you got them two battling on Civil War. Obviously, they're going to sell the card. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Surf, this is the second battle that Surf. Surface was battle Cortez, didn't go down due to unforeseen circumstances. Mm -hmm. Well, they were foreseen, but for mm -hmm. the unforeseen, it was, you know what I'm saying? I mean, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, so that battle didn't happen. And then he was supposed to battle Vixen. That battle didn't happen for whatever reason. Rock is battling Vixen now. And, you know, I can't be mad at the same time because I don't want to see Surf battle week for week. Two weeks in a row. I just, I don't. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to see him battle two weeks in a row. Yeah, that's because definitely set up for disaster. It's set up for disaster. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I did not want to see that. And, and, you know, I know Vixen, you know what I'm saying? She probably wanted it, but he, it was probably looked at contractually like, yo, we need a main event for this Civil War card. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we can't sell this. We cannot sell the main event with the names that's here. Off Jerry you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, nah, it's not going to work. No knock on them. And no hate either, but you yeah. can't sell that. You have to, you know what I'm saying? You have to put a name on there that's going to sell it. It's going to pack a venue. It's doing venue. Surf and Cortez, boom. Let's do it here. We have a crowd in here. They're going to come out. The Surf, they're going to come see him anyway. The nigga could be battling in Istanbul. They're going to come see him. You know what I'm saying? So you use that to your leverage because I'm pretty sure knowing Surf is like, yo, I'm taking another date. It's another bag. You know what I'm saying? On my back end. You know what I'm saying? So um, into the battle. Uh, I've had a lot of time to think about it, you know what I'm saying, I've debated it with myself and the thing is, I, I just, I think it'll be a better battle than people think it's going to be, but I still got Sue Surf win, you know what I'm saying, like 2-1, if not 3-0, honestly, because when, back to the Sharon shit, mm -hmm. when I've seen Cortez at his highest, highest level, and I've seen Surf at his highest level, mm -hmm. I don't, I can't draw a performance that takes me past, you know what I'm saying, Surf's highest level. I think I'm gonna go with Cortez on this one. On the battle? Yep. Mm -hmm. I said I wasn't gonna count Surf out because of the wave that he was on. Mm -hmm. A lot of time has passed. A lot of things. A lot of, lot of, lot of variables that are in play that got me giving the the fry squinty eyes. Like mm -hmm. you wasn't ready. I feel like you wasn't ready. And I'm not saying that that situation was planned or nothing like that. No. I'm not saying that. But divine intervention, maybe. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It just so it was a coincidence that just so happened to happen. Battle over. We're not doing this. You get what I'm saying? Y'all ain't want to do summer man. Y'all ain't want to do midnight madness because it was some money contracts. You get yeah. what I'm saying? I get all of that. That's not a midnight madness. The fact, the fact it, it's not. I would have took it though. 
You know what I'm saying? For what? Because you gotta remember, they got paid. Right. You know what I'm like you contractually. The, the, yeah, the league right. Paid. I'm like league right. pays both artists. Surf don't get paid chicken nuggets. I need my battle in my league. I don't need my battle outside the fucking parking lot like behind a Wawa. You know what I'm saying? Like, Understood. No. So this battle only exists because it 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 you know it it didn't happen on the last one. Mm -hmm. So they got to get this done. Mm -hmm. I feel like Surf is just gonna just try to get this over with. Whereas no. Cortez been waiting. I ain't heard much. I he said his piece. He said he wanted it to go down however he wanted, he, however he wanted it to go down. Mm -hmm. I ain't heard nothing since. Mm -hmm. Only thing he been doing is fine tuning it. Because I'm pretty sure that Cortez was prepared that night. Oh, so he whatever, was. Yeah, he so whatever prepared. he thought would have not worked that night. You got to take some of the yeah. Mm-hmm. Take that and we're going to tweak that. Um, this is going to work. The crowd is a little bit smaller, too. Mm -hmm. This could definitely um, be. For Cortez to be served, he clearly he has to win the first round. You know what I'm saying? Like the first yeah. round is because yeah. for me the way I, I like when I'm if I'm using thinking in sequence, mm. surf's first and second rounds usually be his strongest round. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like even Absolutely. when he has a third, we're not clamoring over his third round, you know what I'm saying? Like I think, you know, I mean that's just being honest. We're not sitting here breaking down the bars from his third rounds. He's been bringing them, he's been beating people, and yeah. he's been better. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But at the same time, I don't. We, he's not quoted as yo third, third round surf. Third you know is like, usually yeah, yeah, his fillery. Yeah, so yeah. Um, I do have surf winning, mm -hmm. and I'm not mad at you if you have Cortez winning because Cortez could easily win this battle. You know what I'm saying? I, mean, like, I always I like root for the underdog too. Uh -huh. So okay, so that's how you feel about it. But when surf clears him, I don't want to hear because mm -hmm. we're gonna be right here on the same set mm -hmm. doing the same shit. So yep. I mean, it is I mean, I'll be right here. You know what I'm saying? You know, I bring the broom for myself. <laughs> if it's a clean sweep 3-0, you know I bring the broom mm -hmm. for myself right now. Mm -hmm. You gonna have to sit with this one. You oh, know what yeah. I'm saying? Uh, yeah, you uh, gonna have to sit with that one. Oh yeah, I got mm -hmm. to. You already know what it is. Gang.